one come into your life. Speak a Hi. word of life. I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining us. This is Dr. Lee's inspiration. Our topic today is loving yourself. Hear me, loving yourself. And as always, I like to give scripture with my um, show. So if you have your Bible, please pull them out. And if you don't have your Bible and you have time to run and go get it, I'd like for you to do so. And I'm gonna give you uh, a few seconds to run and go and get it. And so turn to Psalms, the ones that have the Bible, go ahead and turn to Psalms. Again, our title is Loving Yourself, which is so important, so important. Okay, turn to Psalms 139, verse 13. Psalms 139, verse 13. And I'm going to give some information about Keep It Moving, so I can give you a chance to run and go get your Bibles for the ones that don't have the Bible. This is my book, Keep It Moving. Not another mantra, but a way of life. Keep It Moving is my passion. It's everything that I do is about keep it moving. I have this book that's on sale. You can get it at Amazon.com. You can also get it at my website, which is www.policekim.com. www.pleasekim.com. And also, too, you can also get my shirt which says let go let God and keep it moving and by supporting us it help um, with the things that we're doing I have a youth group called um, keep it moving and like I said I have a book I have a t-shirt and I also do speaking engagements so you can um, contact us at 1888 me Kim Inc again that's 1888 -E -I 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 and you can listen to um, inspirational quote, you can listen to inspiration story, you can have prayer and if you need live prayer, it's an option where you can leave a voice message that you would like to um, to leave, leave your information, your contact information or if you'd like to email, email me at drlee at pleasekim.com that's dr l-i at pleasekim.com and again, that will show at the end of the show, drlee at pleasekim.com and thank you for your calls, thank you for watching, thank you for people that's um, been buying books, buying t-shirts. I appreciate it so much. My whole team appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every little bit help. And if you'd like to make a donation to the ministry, um, please call the number or go to our website. It's a little donate button. And all the, your money is be tax deductible. It's tax um, free. You can write off on your taxes. So whatever you do, whatever God puts on your heart to do, we appreciate it. And we want you to keep it moving. Okay, so you should have time to get your Bibles. And we're going to Psalms 139, 13. Okay. It reads, and this is, like I said, our topic is loving yourself. It reads, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully, fearfully and wonderfully made. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You hear that? Wonderful. You're wonderful. Your works are wonderful. I know that full and well. The key in that verse is I praise you because I am. I am. I mean, you are. You are at home. It's fearfully and wonderfully made. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. That's why it's so important. You must love yourself. How can you love anybody else if you do not love yourself okay I have um little notes here I want to make sure that I share to stay motivated and avoid motivation killers I'll make sure I mention these 
stay motivated and avoid motivation killers. When you love yourself, you got to stay motivated. You got to stay inspired. That's why when I got this, um, this name of the show, Dr. Lee's Inspiration, it was like perfect. Because I said people need to stay motivated. They need to stay inspired. And said avoid motivation killers. Okay, on my list I got avoid people who cast doubt and cause you to doubt yourself. Avoid people who cast doubt and cause you to doubt yourself. The next one I have is avoid those who discredit others and eventually you. Avoid those who discredit others and eventually you. I'm going to read them all first and I'm going to go back over them. The next one that I have is avoid those who discourage. And these are all the D's. Avoid those who discourage. Avoid those who dislodge or tries to pull you away from something good and from your rightful place in life. Pull you away from your rightful place in life. Avoid those whose ultimate goal is to destroy, destroy your good life, family, faith, progression, and the like. People that 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 come to put these deeds doubt to destroy life. I have written here so they act like John ten and ten. The thief that comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. The thief that comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Nehemiah four and one is three. It says enemies try to stop the work. Enemies try to stop the work. They attempt to discourage the workers. And so I want to go back over just these. I want I don't want to forget those when I start to talk. But let me go back. I got one, two, three, four, five, five deeds. And that's doubt, discredit discourage, dislodge, and destroy. Five D's. And those D's are deadly to you being all that you are supposed to be. Those D's, they are designed to keep you away from progressing, from being positive. And so I'm going to go over this and I want to explain these and so you can see why it's so important these to, um, to stay motivated and avoid motivation killers so you can love yourself. Avoid people who cast doubt and cause you to doubt yourself. If it be best friends, friends, classmates, church members, um, a, a group or clique you're in or whatever it is, whoever it is, avoid people who cast doubt. Cause you to doubt yourself. And somebody may say, how can, you, how can you avoid these people? It's easy. You only go around those people if you have to. And I always tell people, if it's a friend, you don't have to go around friends. I mean, if it's somebody you just, a friend most times somebody that you chose to be in life. Now, family members are a little different, but a friend most times somebody you chose to be in your life. And if that friend is cast in doubt, so avoid people who cast doubt and cause you to doubt yourself. For example, let's say you may be doing something as simple as baking a cake. You say, you know what, I'm going to bake this new cake. And when I'm going to bake this new cake, I'm going to, I'm going to bake a cake and I'm going to bake a, a 12 layer chocolate cake. And with this 12 layer chocolate cake, that I'm going to going to bake. I'm going to make it out of scratch. 
and you have a naysayer friend, someone that they just like cast out. First thing they're gonna tell you is you can't um, bake no cake. You're not a, a baker. You're not. You can't. You can't bake good. You know. You can't cook. Who taught you how to cook? I mean, that's somebody casting out. Oh, then they may tell you something like, "Oh, it's gonna cost so much. It's going to, it's gonna cost so much. It's, 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 it's too expensive. You can't do it. You, you're not good enough. You know, you're not, you're not the real chef. You're not the, a baker. Whatever they may say to cast doubt, you must avoid those kind of people. The next one is avoid those who discredit others and eventually you. Avoid those who discredit others and eventually you. Okay, with that, someone did that discredit others and we say eventually you. The reason that people discredit others, I say a lot of times because they can't believe that anyone can do it because they can't do it, so they don't believe that that um, that 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 you can do it. So with 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 that. Avoid those who discredit others and adventure you because they always say what what's the saying a dog that um, bring a bone or carry a bone and so a person that discredit others they eventually do it to you and this makes me think of a story um, this young lady was telling me about years ago she had a best um, friend and she said her best, um, her best friend said she would always be after someone else, man. She said, no, they were younger than. She said she was always after somebody, man. And she said every time you look, she was sneaking around or going with somebody else, somebody else, um, somebody else, uh, man. So she said that they were tight. She said we were so tight, we were so close. And she said that she would just always do it to other people, just, just always sneaking around, tipping around, and. Um, just, just be not as people would say trifling. And she said that her friend would you know always find the same or the reason why what she was doing, why it was good, because the people that she was running around with, you know, their girlfriend or their wife wasn't this or wasn't that or da da da. And so she always knew how to discredit um, others. And so she said that you know basically she just kind of. You know, didn't think much about it. I guess she believed or whatever. So anyhow, with that, she said, after years of being friends, she said, one day it hit home. She said her best friend was sneaking around with her boyfriend. She said they were like tight. She said they were so close. And she said her best friend was sneaking around with her boyfriend. And she said it hit home. She said the same thing she had done to others, you know, discrediting the other people she was, um, like mates that she was running around with saying the reason why she was doing it and you know, why she was right, they were bad, they didn't do this, they didn't do that. You know, they cause them discredit to, to do what she wanted to do. She said, she turned around and did it to her. And she said, I was her best friend. And I asked her and I said, you know what? I said, if she did it to other people, you didn't think she would do it with you? She said, no, I was her best friend. And I was like, really? And she was, yeah, she said, but it taught me a life lesson. She said she could not believe that she did it to her. So like this, it says avoid those who discredit others and eventually you. If somebody would do it to others, they would do it to you. So if they discredit others, they would do it to you. And like in the story, the young um, girl, she was going with everybody else, boyfriends and husbands and mates or whatever. and. Her best friend had no idea that she would do it to her. She figured she valued their friendship. She figured that. But some life tell you is a person, if they would do it to somebody else, they would do it to you. So don't think that a person won't do it to you, because they will. And so that's avoid those who discredit others. So if a person discredits someone in any kind of way, and it's always discredited and discredited, discredited a person, and they have like no. I'm saying no real basis for basis. They just, you know, look for the bad, look for the, the negative in the person. Be careful because they'll turn around and discredit you too. And I've seen it happen over and over and over and over again. Like I said, I taught school and um, when I taught at the college, you know, you had I always had something 
something something going on a life learning lesson or something I was learning or something I was teaching other people I had this one um girl I never forget um she was like the first day of class and when she got to class she saw everybody that was in the class so after class was over with she pulled me to the side and she said whatever you do she said don't talk to that young lady over there don't deal with her you know, she keeps a bunch of mess started, she runs out mouth, she da 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 and she just discredited, disc discredited the young um, lady. And it was interesting to me, because right after she said that, and as time went by, you know, and after the first day of school, we had, you know, it may have been a couple weeks into school, they were best buddies. And I couldn't believe that. I was like, okay, this same um, young lady is telling me not to talk to this lady, but it's okay for her to talk to her, you know? And what you know, that didn't matter to me because I was a teacher and I talked to um, everyone. But it was interesting that how she pulled me aside to warn me to warn me about this person that was so bad and that she just discredited so much. And she became best buddies with this young lady. And what I find out over the course of course of time, or whatever, what I find out was she was the one that was always trying to discredit somebody. She was the one that was running. Same thing she said about the other young lady. She was the one that was doing that. The same thing that she said. All the negative stuff she brought to me to, to make me not like this particular student or be, I guess, real leery of this, this student. She did everything that uh, she told, told, told me not to do. She befriended the girl and they became best buddies. And as far as I know, they're still buddies now. I don't know. But just interesting. So when somebody comes to you and they bring doubt, then they bring, um, they try to discredit someone, be careful because they will discredit you. You hear me? They will discredit you. So the other um, thing I have here, avoid those that discourage. Stay away from naysayers. Naysayers, they say no, nunca, no, not, or whatever. Stay away from those who discourage. If they discourage you, why would you go to them with a fantastic dream, a fantastic goal? Because they will discourage it. You have a good idea, they'll make it a bad idea. If you have a great outlook on life, before you get through with them, you'll have a bad outlook on life. So what I'm saying is, don't let someone discourage you. If they have a discouraging spirit and like to discourage, find somebody that will encourage. And if they like to discourage, what you do is avoid them. Avoid it. All this is about avoiding these people with these, these with doubt, discredit, discourage. So if the person is discouraging you, I tell you now, avoid them. Avoid them. Okay, the other thing I have here is avoid those who dislodge or tries to pull you away from something good and from your rightful place in life. Avoid those who dislodge or tries to pull you away from something good and from your rightful place in life. And saying this made me think about I've seen people have great relationships, I mean just fantastic relationships, and they let somebody who like to dislodge things come and pull them away for something that's good. They like force, they let somebody, how can I say, they like like for this person that's casting doubt and that's um, discouraging and discredited, they, they come and let them cast doubt into their life. If someone comes to bring you garbage about your best friend, about your, your mate, your husband, wife, your whoever, your boss, whatever, you just tell them you don't want to hear it. You hear me? Tell them you don't want to hear it. Because some people, like I said, say they, they, they want to dislodge. And all they're saying is they want to pull you away from something good. I had this experience at one job where the, um, one of my coworkers, she was upset with the boss. And she was so upset, I never forget, she called all of us and had like a, 
I guess a informal meeting but um, like I said an informal meeting and when she did she wanted all of us to walk out on the boss she knew that if everybody if we all walked out it would leave him in um, leave him in a bind and so she wanted us to walk out and I'm like wow is she serious this this man hasn't done anything um, to me but help me. He's given me a job. He's he's blessed, blessing me. But now he come a naysayer, making him the devil. When in reality he's making my life better. He's giving me a paycheck. He thought enough for me to hire me. But because one person had a problem, she wanted to get everybody at the company, everybody, and she wanted everybody to walk out because she was upset. And that's what I'm saying. They want to pull you away pull you away for something good and by um, staying with that job I learned I learned a lot of things I learned a lot of things that I'm implementing now and so with my whole keep it moving thing so with that don't let someone dislodge you for something good and if you're in a relationship you got a good wife you got a good husband you got a good best friend you got a, a good boss Whatever, whatever, whoever, and they're good, don't let someone else come and dump garbage to you about that person and try to pull you away to make you side with them. And I'm going to go ahead and be real. If you have a good pastor or a good leader or a good ministry, don't let someone come in and try to pull you away from your ministry, from your your church from your pastor because that's what people do they always got something better it's like they like salesmen they'll come say oh I got this is you know the grass is green on the other side they'll sell you beachfront property in Arizona and you know that's just, you know I mean impossible they'll say you're the, the beach you know so with that don't let anybody do that and I always tell people that's like someone I want to sell you you know they want to say you uh, a, a, a snowy white winter in Miami, you know. How often have you seen that with the with everything the 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 ocean everything has white on it in Miami, you know? How often have you seen that? Yeah, right. I know you haven't seen that, have you? Because of the temperatures, the temperatures down there. You know, you're not gonna have snow in Miami like you have in New York. When God sends the real, the devil will send the counterfeit. So don't let the counterfeit get you all wrapped up and get you entangled and make you make a mess of life. Because the counterfeit will bring doubt, discredit, discourage, and dislodge. And the last one is to destroy. The whole goal is to destroy. That's the devil's whole goal. So don't let people that come as a friend or come as a, the somebody that love you or concern or care about you, don't let them come in tell you this bogus stuff. Don't let them pull you away from your church. Don't let them pull you away from your pastor. Somebody talking about your pastor, you tell them, uh-uh, not around me. If it's their own member, no, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. He or she is a, a great man, is a great woman of God. You know, whoever, whatever. If it's about your boss, if it's about your mate, don't let anyone come talk bad about your husband to you or to, about your wife to you. Because people do it. They try to ask stuff. And the ones that are telling you stuff, when you have a husband or a wife or even about your kids, they tell you bad stuff about your kids and they, and they may not even have any kids. You know? So, or then their kids not doing anything. You know? And so it's funny. Don't, don't let anyone come to doubt, to discredit, to discourage, or dislodge, to pull you away from something. Because God may have you there for a reason. And you may be there for a season. But before you jump and do whatever or base all your thoughts and emotions off what somebody else said, what you need to do is get on your knees and pray. I was in, and give it some days. Think about it. See, wait and see what God says. Don't let those naysayers keep you from keeping it moving. Because God has a plan for you. He has something that he's building you for. Something that he wants you to do. Something he wants you to see. And so he's revealing it, but you have to be patient. And the last one is, avoid those who ultimate goals to destroy. Destroy your good life, family, faith, progression, and the like. 
destroy. Don't let anybody destroy what God has given you. Tell naysayers to get back. Tell Satan to get back. Because I always tell people, I don't call people the devil. I say they let the devil use them. The devil can use me. He can use you. He can use your husband, your wife. He can use anybody. If that person let them use them. So what I'm saying is nobody is perfect. So don't let the devil use you. Fight him off. Don't give him don't give him any room to even get in. Don't even let him like like we always say, the people say, no, don't um don't let the um the devil don't let the devil ride in your car. Because if the devil ride, he's gonna drive. He's not gonna be a passenger. He's gonna take full control. So don't you let the devil in. Call us at one eight 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 eight. Me Kim Inc. One eight eight eight. Me Kim Inc. www.pleasekim.com. www.pleasekim.com. Or you can email me at dr. Period. L I at pleasekim.com. That's Dr. Lee at pleasekim.com. And again, as always, let go, let God, and keep it moving. Thank you for joining us.